Public libraries are dumb because they're publicly funded, which means they are immediately political. Anything that is taxpayer funded, it is immediately exposed to political debate by necessity. You are compelling people to pay for something. They now have a say through their vote, through their protest, through their debate, through their speaking out in what goes into those libraries. You now have a situation where one more person in a majority who can vote for something or has the ability to hire that librarian now has power over the dollars compelled away from other people to purchase things that those people don't like, don't approve of, and or to not purchase things they would like purchased with their money. The only way around this is private libraries. And by private libraries, I don't mean you have to have some giant thing with a fancy name or brand on it. I'm talking about private citizens coming together and saying, let's have the private library of blah, blah, blah. And we voluntarily donate our money to this small town, this five block radius, whatever, like those little free libraries. But you know, we, we decide that we want to check a box and voluntarily contribute the money to the library of Marxist thought or the library of libertarian ideology or whatever. And then individual citizens could go and know, right, just like we do with newspapers and other things that are privately funded. And they're like, this is the newspaper I want to read if I want this worldview. And, it, and you might say, oh, but that's so close minded. No, as long as they're all free to print, as long as these libraries are free to open, I can go to the Marxist library and then I can go across the street to the Libertarian library and they're privately funded and I, I never have to worry if I want more Libertarian books put out there for people to read for free coming off the street, then I can put more money into the Libertarian library. And if you want more Marxist books put in the Marxist library, knock yourself out. This is America, freedom of speech. But the minute it's publicly funded with taxpayer dollars coercively taken from people each of us, I have a say and you have a say. I have equal say to you. And the only thing that's going to happen is I'm going to be bitter and annoyed if there are five Marxists and four libertarians. And so you five Marxists have more of a vote than, you know, it's democracy, the two wolves and the sheep voting for what's for dinner. So the public library that's using my money is all Marxist literature. And now you've got my money so that I cannot go and donate or create a libertarian library because it's been taken for me to pay for shit I don't believe in. That's why it's dumb. It's dumb and it's immoral. And the importance of having access to reading material does not trump the importance of individual liberty to decide what I want to pay for that is out there for people to read. Other people besides me. Because now I have that money's gone, taken from me, funding things that I absolutely object to. Just like if it were Republicans in charge and they were putting all kinds of religious dogma or whatever into a library with your money, I guarantee you, you'd be frustrated about it. It's the same thing. That's why it's dumb. That's why it's dumb.